Vandals terrorizing a neighborhood going as far as spray painting discriminating messages on a home. But the state doesn't call it a hate crime. Since Thursday, someone has vandalized this specific home twice near 21st and Garnett. Fox 23's Abby Alford is live in East Tulsa tonight. It's of the home. And Abby, what have these vandals done outside of this home? Well, Cher, even with all this bright porch lighting right here, the vandals still managed to come and light the front of this truck on fire, threatening that they'll be back that same night. It might be a little bit hard to see, but you can see right here on this garage, it says CMG. But that wasn't enough. The vandals came back a second time yesterday. Let's take a bigger look right here. In big white writing, it says gay must go. And it's all over the home. A charred truck threats, I'll be back, and in bigger writing for everyone to see, gay must go. I can't imagine anybody doing this being this hateful. I... That's what almost every driver believes as they stare and cruise by this East Tulsa home. This is just hate. This is hate. But it's not hate, at least according to the state. In fact, Oklahoma is one of 17 states that doesn't protect sexual orientation under the hate crime statute. Instead, this is just vandalism. It's just vandalism, but the message is so clear. Rather, the message is clear for Robert Stoltler. He's the gay man that lives behind these walls. This is a big advertisement telling me I must leave. He doesn't want to leave, but Robert says he has no choice. The state won't protect him. Right now, I live in fear. I cannot live in this house. Even his neighbors fear these criminals. First, the vandals lit this truck on fire. Then they came back later and wrote more. It just scares you to death because you don't know what they're going to come back and do. So neighbors are keeping a watchful eye. We all keep an eye out because it's kind of dangerous now. An innocent victim may die for us who's not gay. Even though this vandalism right here isn't considered a hate crime under the Oklahoma state statute, if it were, it'd be punishable up to one to ten years in prison with a very hefty fine. But right now it's just vandalism, and that carries up to six months in jail and a $500 fine. Reporting live in East Tulsa, Abby Alford, Fox 23 News.